I'm excited to share with you about a new opportunity we have to empower the people of Haiti. Now, during the time that I lived in Haiti, I saw firsthand how complex these issues are that contribute to poverty and social injustice in the country. My wife and I actually spent over a year building relationships with a group of children that lived in an orphanage. Now what you have to realize is that many of these children were not orphans in the traditional sense. What often happens is an orphanage director will go out to remote villages in Haiti and coerce desperate families into giving up their child to the orphanage. They promise a better life for the child, but this is almost never the case. The conditions at orphanages in Haiti are very bad. Plus, these children are not receiving the emotional care they really need from a mom and dad. In other cases, families in these villages will send their children into the city. They do this because they believe that there's more opportunity for their child, and so they send them to live with a relative. But unfortunately, there's not more opportunity in the city of Port-au-Prince. It's just overpopulated, and there's not enough jobs available. What often happens is this relative will put that child into slavery. They'll become a slave of their own home. This is known in Haiti as a restaurant. Unfortunately for many young girls, they're forced into the sex trade. In fact, right in the community that we lived in in Haiti was a brothel that housed girls as young as eight years old. Again, there is no easy answer to these problems in Haiti, but we're convinced that creating a better life for the families that live in these villages will ultimately allow them to stay together and prevent a lot of these horrible outcomes. We've partnered with local leaders to empower a group of villages in the Jacmel region we sat down with these leaders and they told us about their immediate needs. Some of them included repaired housing, a medical clinic, and water. Now when I say water, I don't mean just clean water. Many of these villages are located high up in the mountains and they don't have any access to water. What little they can get has to be carried several miles up the mountain to their village. So I'm asking you to please join us in supporting these communities in Haiti. Now we'll be doing multiple projects over time, so be sure and check the description below to see what our current project is. But I do know that one of our first priorities is creating a rain collection system in some of these villages that live high up in the mountains. You can make a difference by helping these families to stay together, by empowering them with what they need in their home village. You can donate today by visiting our GoFundMe page, or you can visit homeforthenations.org give. Thank you so much, and God bless.